hey guys it's been a long time since we've solved an easy level problem but that's going to change because this problem opens the floodgates to a whole new type of problem a whole new genre called islands and water problems so make sure you watch this one because there are a lot more to come island perimeter you're given an m by n grid in which zero represents water and one represents land one or more pieces of land can be connected either vertically or horizontally to form an island there are no holes no gaps no lakes no gaps in the island it's all one continuous island and there is only one island on the grid calculate the perimeter of the island so first let's have a look at how our input looks 4 by 4 that means it's a 4 by 4 grid and we can see zeros and ones it will help a lot if we can imagine the zeros as water and the ones as land so let's see how that looks right here we can see it's the same grid we've replaced zero with blue and one with brown now if we look at the boundary of the brown portion we can see it has a length of 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 the perimeter is a total of 12 units which is why our output is 12 now guys i leave this screen open Make sure to click the link in the description and to solve it for yourselves. Once you are done, head on back, and I'll give you a clue as to how we're going to go about solving it. So, when we see a portion of land, it can either be surrounded by water on all four sides, it can be surrounded by water on three sides, on two sides, on one side, or on zero sides. If it's surrounded by water on four sides, this is how it will look. Here we have the option of directly returning four as our output because we know there's one island, and here we can see it's of type one by one. When will a block of land ever be surrounded by zero tiles of water? That's naturally when it's landlocked. The tile above it, the tile below it, and the tile to le its left and right are all land tiles. Now the key to solving this problem is to figure out how to solve the cases where one portion of land is surrounded by three tiles of water. by two tiles of water and by one tile of water once we figure out how to solve that we'll have got a solution let's simply iterate through our grid if our grid ever has a zero or a water tile we just ignore it it holds no value to us whenever we see a brown tile a tile of value 1 that's when we check the surrounding tiles here we can clearly see the tile to the left is water the tile to the right is water and since it's in the first row we can assume the tile above it is water it's surrounded by water on three sides which is why it contributes three edges to our perimeter as we keep iterating we'll find this tile now two adjacent tiles are land tiles but the remaining two are water tiles meaning it contributes two edges to the final answer when we look at this tile the third tile it contributes just one edge because it's got land on three sides and water on only one side when we look at this tile it contributes three edges and when we look at this the final the fifth land tile it contributes three edges which is why our final perimeter will be 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 3 for a total of 12 if you have a look at your screens you'll be able to see the code initially our perimeter is 0 we're going to iterate through the entire array if arr of ij is 1 that is to say if it's a land tile only then will we consider it if it's a water tile we simply ignore it now we try to find the elements that are adjacent to it the element above it the element below it the element to its left and the element to its right if it's present on the top row we directly assume there's water above it if it's present in the bottom row we assume that down is 0 if it's present in the first column we assume left is 0 and if it's in the last column right is going to be zero now remember zero denotes water and one denotes land so when we add up all the values we're going to get the number of land tiles so the number of water tiles will naturally be 4 minus the number of land tiles finally as we know the perimeter the number of edges each land tile contributes is equal to the number of adjacent water tiles which is why we add water to perimeter and return the final parameter value when we hit compile and test sample test case have been passed and we hit submit 
we will see that all five are accepted so guys that's the solution to this problem there are a lot more island perimeter problems to come so make sure you stay tuned make sure you keep watching our new hacker earth videos and also make sure to hit the three buttons that pop up in your screen right now like comment and subscribe it's been vivek guys and i'll see you in the next part